what's up everyone welcome back to lead coding in this video we will be solving the problem largest substring between two equal characters so the name of the problem itself is sufficient to describe the problem we are given a string s and we have to return the largest size of the substring which is present between two equal characters so in this case two equal characters are a and a and there is no substring which is present between these two characters so we are returning 0 and in this case again the two equal characters are a and a and the size of the substring between these two equal characters is 2 that is b and c in this case there are no two equal characters so in this case we are going to return minus 1 so what can we do let us say we have a string a B C D A C F G A B and E now we can see that the character A is coming here at this position and at this position so what could be the largest substring present between two A's so we won't be considering this substring and we won't be considering this substring rather than this we can consider the substring starting from here till here so once we know the first occurrence of a character and the last occurrence of a character then whatever is there between these will be one of the possible answer similarly so let us calculate the answer for this case 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so 7 is one of the option other two similar characters are B and what is there between these two B's 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so again 7 is one of the possibility so I think 7 is the maximum answer and that is what we are going to return in this case so we need to keep track of the first occurrence of a character and then whenever the next occurrence of a character comes we just have to see the difference between these two indices so in this case the difference will be 4 and we will subtract 1 from this so we will obtain 3 so 3 is one of the option then we will be going forward and we will find a again now we will be looking at the difference of the first occurrence of a and the current occurrence of a in this case the answer will be 7 the same thing we are going to do with all the other characters now let us go to the implementation and things will become more clear once we start implementing this so to keep track of the index of a particular character we are maintaining an array of size 26 and I'm going to initialize this with 0 memset this array with okay let us initialize this with minus 1 because 0 is one of the index so minus 1 comma size of AR now moving forward we will be going to each of the index of the string and we will see that if it is the first occurrence of a character so for that if AR of s of i minus a is equal to minus 1 it means that uh, this particular character is coming for the first time so we can now insert this current i ar of s of i minus a is equal to the current index so only when the character is coming for the very first time we are going to insert its index into the array and all the other time what we are going to do is we are going to calculate an option and that option will be AR of the current I minus AR of S of I minus A minus 1 this is one of the option and answer is equal to maximum of answer comma option and finally we will return the answer we are taking in answer as 0 let us take answer as minus 1 
because that is what we have to return when there are no characters which are same so let us try to run this it is giving us correct answer for one of the test cases let us try to run for another test case it should give us 4 we are getting correct answer let us try to submit and it got accepted so we are using only a constant space it is a constant space solution and we are traversing the entire string so it is big of n in terms of time complexity now what we are doing here is we are only storing the first occurrence or the index when the character comes for the very first time so we will be storing for a we will be storing 0 as the index and when the next time a is going to come so it is at the index 0 1 2 3 and 4 so we will perform the operation 4 minus 0 minus 1 which is equal to 3 so 3 is one of the option again a is going to come at the index I think 8 so it is the index 8 we will perform the operation 8 minus 0 minus 1 which is 7 so 7 is one of the option again we won't be changing the index of a once we inserted it into the given array because we always want the first occurrence of each of the uh, character so this is it for the solution if you like the video please subscribe to the channel thank you